Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this, and I was not going to make a video because this is so easy. Um, but when I was actually cleaning it up for them, I realized there's a few techniques that would help you. So I'm going to go to Trace Bitmap, Outline Trace Clip Art that I use 99% of the time, and you can see it's already done it. But now watch what's happened. If we left-click, right-click, we've got some bad spots, twisted spots, bad spots, but they're all interior. Every one of those lines is interior. Now, I could go ahead and delete some of this, you know, like delete that one. I'm going to leave that one. I'm going to leave that one. I'm going to delete that one. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time, but the inside ones you see are twisted. So the way to get by with that is take a rectangle, fill it in with a smart fill tool on any color. I'm going to go in and nudge it out of the way, but then I'm going to, I'm also going to put the circles in because we want a correct copy of this. So what it did Nav, we take and left click, right click. All those interior twisted parts are gone because we came from the outside. Now, I would still clean this up a little bit, really easy with the shape tool. Maybe just delete that one. Don't hit your calculator. And I don't like that. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to bring this, bring this node up to a point. There you go. And maybe over here a little bit. Um, maybe delete some nodes in the middle. Maybe delete a couple of nodes. Everything looks pretty good. Um, take that and maybe make a little bit of curve to it. More like a holly would be. And, you know, you can manipulate every node and kind of... This would almost be easy to redraw. Now we've got some a lot of nodes right here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the shape tool and I'm just gonna delete those two nodes. I apologize for that. My calculator key is right on top of mine. Now, we're done. So what I'm gonna do is take my box away, but I've gotta to go to object. Yep, I've gotta to go to object and break the curve apart to get rid of our box. But now I want that I want that holly to look like this holly. Exactly. So I'm going to grab the Smart Fill tool. I'm going to go down and hit the eyedropper tool. I'm going to take a sample of that green and I'm going to fill in the holly. Then I'm going to go back to the Smart Fill tool, get the eyedropper and go red and fill that in with red. Now, this is probably... You know, fine if you're going to print on a white background, but let's say we're going to print on a blue shirt object order back a page. See, our uh, blue is not the best color, but we don't have any white in for the cherry, but you can just take your smart fill tool, change it to white, and just fill in those spots with white. And blue is not the best color. Let's go... Uh, Let's see what black looks like. Object order back a page. That's pretty close. And it's a very good, clean, crisp vector file uh, that you could print. You could actually grade that if you turn it black and grays and uh, leave that circle. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.